still looking at some severe storms developing outside right now. Isolated, isolated, isolated. That is the key word of the day outside because most of the viewing area just seeing cloud cover out there. There's not a lot of widespread activity, but where there is that activity, it is starting to really pick up. Severe thunderstorm warning now in effect for parts of Pecos, Reeves counties, right between Balmeray and Fort Stockton along the interstate. And this is heading for Fort Stockton. So if you live there, you got friends or family there, let them know that this is coming. This is what we're looking at here is some damaging winds and some large hail starting to develop in this particular storm. We're not talking about tornadic activity, nothing like that, nothing anywhere near as extreme, but still severe thunderstorm, nothing to sneeze at and dealing with, yes, yeah, some pretty decent hail size up in the storm itself. Hail core getting upwards of one and a half inches at this point. This is developing very, very quickly, starting to see a lot of upwards momentum really lifting up that hail core. Purple is when we're talking about hail. This is a cross section of the storm, shows just how powerful those winds are, lifting the hail all the way up to 40,000 feet. Very, very powerful updrafts in this particular storm. And that's why we're dealing with that growing hail size. You need those strong updrafts to see that large hail beginning to develop. And that is exactly what we're getting outside right now. And that is the exact reason that we have that severe thunderstorm warning in effect. Luckily, we're not seeing a whole lot of lightning with this, but still a handful of lightning strikes as well. Always something to keep in mind. That can be very dangerous too. So here's the thing. This is just one small storm moving along I-10. Most of us still not looking at any activity out there, but when you're dealing with these small storms that can start to gain momentum this quickly, it's something that you want to pay very, very close attention to because if you get one of these moving overhead, that's when you start to run into some trouble. So what do we have throughout the rest of the evening? Again, isolated. That is going to be the key word. Southern Basin, Trans-Pecos could see that storm continuing to track along I-10. Looks like this is going to be one that we have to watch for a while now. Could see a little bit of development down towards the Big Bend area, but it doesn't look like we'll see a whole lot here in the basin. Into tomorrow, we'll start off clear, but then some more storms. Again, south of the interstate, looks like our best chance for some more of these storms in the forecast. And once more, Easter Sunday, we get a chance for, well, again, some more of those isolated storms developing in our forecast. Big reason why we're seeing all of this is we are starting to get a dry line developing this time off to the west, but tomorrow it's going to start to shift a little bit further to the east, actually seeing that line setting up a bit closer to the basin. And that's why we start to shift those severe weather chances a little bit further to the east for Saturday and into Sunday. Certainly going to be a couple of days to continue to keep a close eye out on this. And speaking of that severe risk, Storm Prediction Center, yellow area, that's the slight risk. Better chance that we start to see some of those severe storms, hail, damaging winds, and that's covering a very, very large portion of the viewing area, western basin into the northern Trans-Pecos, right where we're seeing that severe storm right now. This continues into Saturday, another marginal risk, and then into Sunday, another marginal risk. So we are still not done with these strong storms in the forecast, and the difference now, temperatures starting to rise, getting into the 70s, the mid-80s, and the more you start to see that heat playing a role in your forecast, the stronger you get a chance for some of those severe storms to develop. And that's going to be the case the next couple of days. Those temperatures still on the rise, hitting the mid-80s here in the basin Saturday, Sunday, getting up to near 90 degrees by next week. But it does look like those storm chances are really going to be limited to today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. After that, we start to see a little bit of clearing as those temperatures really on the rise. Tuesday, Wednesday, above 90 degrees for our high. Thursday, not far off. But we're going to continue to track those severe storm chances for you through the rest of this evening. Again, that severe thunderstorm warning just outside of Fort Stockton down along I-10. Something to keep a very close eye on and we'll give you the latest on that as it continues to develop.